Part of what I was also like working on this week was like making sure like I had my character's memories to so, like the lines where she actually talks about her memories. I'll be like thinking about her memories. So that like kind of like triggers like what I'm saying. Um, and not just only thinking about what Ali had just said. Right, right. Like I said, what the other person says triggers memories. Also, what you are saying is colored by your memories. The imagery, when you're talking about something that happened to you, you re-experience it. So that's another way, you know, of being your words. You know, when I say you have to be your words, it's about, you know, some words are just totally, completely descriptive and you're, you're choosing them to, to paint this picture. In other words, you're actually literally telling them something that happened and you are remembering it and trying to get them to live it with you again. It's about, you know, understanding that whether what you're talking about is something you've actually experienced is something that you've imagined, something that you just want him to consider and you need to really paint that picture with the words. Yeah. So was that some really bad stuff that you remember? Um, I was trying to, and then I got distracted. So. If, if it was maybe you had to do something to get money to get drugs, like doing something to some guy so he'd give you drugs, mm -hmm. that would be something you wouldn't want to remember, right? Right. Those things that I remember and I don't want to remember, I don't, I don't want to see them in my mind. When, when, I'm, when I'm in this world, they come to me, right? Right. I remember them so much more vividly than when I'm on cloud nine, right? Right. I can't deal with my memories okay, of yeah. stuff I've done. Okay. Because you get desperate when you need drugs, right? Right. And you'll do just about anything, even gross stuff. Okay. So that's, okay. I think that's what you need to think that you did so that you can feel, I don't want to remember that. Okay. Okay. Any questions about anything? No, I'm just going to think about drugs for the next week. Okay. <laughs> and same that you, you, you hear what you just said? I want to kill myself too. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. I also want to kill myself. Because it's just so hard. And when you say I'm tougher, you're talking about all the things you needed to do to stay alive just to have mm -hmm. you, right? Yeah. yeah. So you have to have memories of that. Memories, yeah. I try to inject memories at that part. Yeah, that you've had to hold a knife up to someone's throat before because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they were stealing your money to, and it was the money you were going to get drugs with, right? Mm -hmm. But you, you, you got a knife to this guy's neck because he was going to kill you for it? Yeah, yeah. So when you say, I'm tougher, I'll slit your throat. I'll slit somebody's throat if they push me, okay? Yeah. I'm hard. You know, and what is a hard person like? I mean, have you ever talked to any street people? You know, the people that are really... Yeah. You know what they're like, right? Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. So you're one of those guys. Okay? Yeah. You're pulling yourself out of it, but you're still the same guy, right? Yeah. yeah. You're just you're just one of those guys on a good day. And you've yeah. had a few good days in a row, right? A couple right. of years, maybe, right? Right. But you're still that guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you know who I'm talking about, right? That's who you are. Because that's not who Godwin is at all, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just joking. <laughs> no. no, Godwin is not like that. I can nah. tell by the way you're saying this, but you're not. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you got to you got to take it on. Good. Sa same thing I used to was telling to her when she was playing the whoopee part, you know, and, you know, she was talking about being in her hood and everything. And I'm going, you never lived in a hood. <laughs> 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 so so we got to we got to imagine that's what imagination is all about, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, well, just remember your experiences as a crack addict. Yeah. 
maybe you could listen to some interviews with crack addicts. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm going to watch soft, uh, soft something underbelly or some shit like that. Yeah, really? there's some there's some place where people are really talking about what it's like to be on crack. Right? Yeah, yeah. Go and, do some crack research. My smoke yeah. a little bit just to feel yeah. it. Thanks. Thanks, no, Winnie. No, don't eat the crack. <laughs> We're not method actors. You already said it. You already said it. <laughs> yes. Each other like, sorry, officer. I just had to do this for my acting class. It's life or death. I'm sorry. I got, I got to do this. <laughs> Arrest me. So I can really know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, good. Jonathan, you got anything to say about that? Uh, no, it, it makes perfect sense. And, and, like you said, this morning's scene, it is a lot of using those past um, memories and everything to really paint what I'm trying to say and uh, without actually saying it and finding the right ways to say it where it comes across, but not too hard and not too light and finding all the perfect thoughts to really drive that. And it all ties back into like what you say, talent is empathy and imagination and being able to imagine that these memories are real and these these are me and it is affecting what I think, what I feel, and all that different stuff that just really fleshes it out to make it more realistic. If that makes right. sense, if I'm doing you right. justice.